People in the music industry say you should always be perfecting your craft, that hours upon hours of grueling practice make perfect, and that perfect is what it takes to be a successful musician. And sure, there are plenty of well-practiced musicians playing sold-out stadium shows hundreds of times a year. But for some reason, there are just as many mediocre musicians playing just as many sold-out shows. You may say to yourself, how do they do it? How can they just roll out of bed, smoke a fat J, and say, I am a great musician? Now, it may sound crazy, but therein lies the difference. Being a successful musician isn't about the music you make at all. It's about your mindset. What do you believe about your music? Here's the good news. We can get ourselves to believe anything. Psychiatrists have proven the power of repetition in that one famous experiment with the one guy who did that one thing. So, if you forget about everything else and focus exclusively on believing you are a great musician, then you will be one. That's how the universe works. It's physics. That's why it's best to spend at least six hours every morning simply repeating, I am a great musician. If you have a family or roommates, this exercise is especially effective if you slowly pace around the house repeating, I am a great musician, while you cut up a stuffed animal with a steak knife. By repeating this, your family and friends will really begin to feel the positive energy you are cultivating. In some cases, they may be so excited that they will run out of the house screaming. If this happens, don't let it phase you. The universe loves positive energy, and it will start rewarding you. As you go about your day, you may find that less important things like your personal hygiene, eating, jobs, errands, housework, friendships, sex, and your little cousin's t-ball game start to drain your positive energy. This is why it's good practice to periodically recharge your energy levels by reminding yourself that I am a great musician. This tactic is most effective when you're in a public place like a Starbucks. Stand on one of the nearby tables and announce in your loudest voice to the whole place that you are a great musician. In these sort of situations, a scream shout with a thick German accent is most appropriate. This approach is very effective because it not only reaffirms the notion we've been building for this whole video, but it will help generate a buzz around you in your local community. Don't be surprised if people pull out iPhones when they see you get on the table. This is to be expected. They want to brag to their friends that they saw the next Jimi Hendrix before he got famous. People will start to notice you when you pass on the street or when they see you in the grocery store. Soon, people will come to know in advance that you are a great musician and they'll give you extra space on the bus or subway out of respect. They may even cross the street when they see you coming on the sidewalk to give you more room. The more you make these kinds of appearances, the more attention and buzz you will generate. Soon, even powerful community figures like police officers may start to notice you. They'll start to offer you complimentary jewelry for your wrists and free rides in the back of their cars. And if you build enough buzz, and if you're really lucky, you may get your own private room at the police station. This is a tremendous honor, and it is a sure sign that you've joined the ranks of music's elite.